Hmm? Orang yang terlalu simple uh, Where is it sitting on the graph? If I were to say the one that you are familiar Exponent Where it's not touching Zero Where it goes to zero Another one where it's in RAM It's more in fractions Horizontal, asymptote. There yeah, are two types of asymptote. Same thing. Okay. This is where you're going to find them. And as you can see, this is one of the X. Let me another color. So you can find asymptote in two types of situation where one is in fraction, one is in the if I were to say it's a number power Number power of X Right? These two cases of where you try to find a symptom Well, exponent is not that much difficult uh, uh, Let's have a little look If you see exponent Not much you can say about it The horizontal for exponent it happens when we, we need to test ourselves, ourselves when x approaching infinity and the other one is when x approaching negative infinity right the thing with here not much we can do e power of infinity as you can see on the graph it gets higher and higher and higher and where will it reach it will reach infinity it goes somewhere really really far and Use your, use your own imagination for up there so it doesn't have limits it goes up but for when x approaching negative infinity it's different it's going from this direction it's just get, getting very very near with the y equals to zero yes that's about asymptote asymptote is just getting very very near but it's not really reached there it's like your, your friend zone crash zone stuff right so another thing that you should recount about it is that E of our power negative infinity just near to zero very near to zero and only when you get yourself a number that is your asymptote right? asymptote is a number you can see asymptote is not infinity Understand? So in this particular case, if we only have one side of infinity, where's that side? So why the horizontal asymptote, as I've mentioned in the graph last time, if horizontal is y, if vertical is x, this is for the case of exponent. Okay, let's go. Okay, like for fractions. This is what our normal partition comes in. I can give you something like this. x over 3, x squared minus 1. And we want to check, let's say this is fx, and check the horizontal asymptote. Okay, as mentioned last time, horizontal asymptote, we want to check x approaching to infinity, and the other one is x approaching to negative infinity. For this particular case, I think we get the same answers. How do we proceed? You know this already. This is the application for x approaching infinity. So just multiply. 3. 1 over x, 1 over x. Is it correct? Should be x squared, y x squared. Denominator power. Denominator highest power is x squared. So we get ourselves 1 over x over 3 1 over x squared then you substitute the limit 0 over 3 over 0 which gives you 0, zero. ok 
same goes for this one here. Same goes for this one. We multiply with 1 over x squared, 1 over x squared. For this case, it, they give you the same answer for sides. When do they don't give you the same answer for both sides, sir? Such as example when there's modulus or when there's a different function for left and right. So now you substitute negative infinity. In this case, doesn't harm, doesn't harm anything. Zero, three minus zero. Zero. Should we stop here? You should mention the horizontal asymptote. Horizontal asymptote is what? Y equals zero. Y equals to zero. What happens if I just write down zero? No marks. You lose your marks. Then be very, very careful. Let me try to see whether there's one more example. Well, that's an easy one. Aha, uh -huh, I think this one sounds more interesting. Let me first check whether we can solve it first. <laughs> what about if this? You have another black? Yeah, the end of the semester already, really, just one more. Well, let's check. This one here, why don't you try by yourself? Find the horizontal asymptote. Okay, for horizontal asymptote, what should you do? How should we find horizontal asymptote? You need to check. X, X is approaching. Infinity. Infinity. Is that all? Ne approaching negative infinity. And you need to check. Limit. X approaching negative infinity, infinity for this equation. Okay, all right. Give it a try. Oh. Yeah, pause first. Okay, are you guys okay with this? Do you get the same answer? One and negative one. Alright. Any question? This is not the final answer. If you end here, that means you lose one marks. What should we do? Horizontal asymptote. Yeah, I should write down. Horizontal. Asymptote is y equals to one, one and negative one. one. Okay, so we need to check both sides. With this sort of application of uh, x approaching infinity and x approaching negative infinity, not that difficult. Alright, that's all. Thank you.